it's me. Um, had a kind of stuff night, stuff stressful night, and um, yeah, you guys want to hear about it? I mean, you probably don't, but oh well. This is my YouTube page, and I guess you can change it if you don't want to hear it. Okay, so this is your warning. My stressful day, like always, and some updates about life, I guess. So, um, it started with, ah, it started with, um, Mark. And, um, yeah, I have some history with Mark. Um, I hung out with him a few times, and I really wanted to try things with Mark, but, um, he kind of blew me off. Like, not blew me off, but, like, he didn't really, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. I was distracted with this. My tweets there. The point is, I wanted to be with him, and I told him I was going to wait for him, and in reality, he had no intentions of wanting to be with me, even though he said he did. Um, he's told me quite a few times that, yeah, he, he actually wanted to be with me, and I make him so happy. But, um, his happy and my happy were two different happies, I guess. I don't know. I don't give a shit. Um, so, so he wanted me to spend the night and I was like, mm, okay, fine. I was one the night. Um, he really talked me into it. I mean, it didn't take much because I, I do like Mark. I think Mark's a, a good guy at heart who just does some stupid stuff like every guy does. Um, so I was like, fine. But then I was like, I really, I really don't want to mess up what I have going with me. I mean, I did that before. I was, you know, me and Jay were technically still going out and I haven't talked to him for like damn near a month and I took it as we were broken up and I went and did something stupid with another guy and ended me and Jay for good. And I really don't want to find out that Dean could have been the guy if I would have just, you know waited patiently. I mean, did, Dean did come to me. Um, not technically, but he's working his way towards me, and my dad's always telling me, you know, if you stop looking for a guy, a guy will come to you. And I did stop. You know, I wasn't thinking every second, you know, that guy could be the one, let me give me his, let me get his number, so I can see what happens, you know. I wasn't looking for every guy's every guy on Facebook so I can, you know, hit him up, you know, try going out with him. So that was pretty that was pretty cool that, you know, he started that, but Mark I went to him and I did kinda mess up and I do feel bad, you know, I told him that he you know, he's not looking for a relationship. And that's what I'm looking for. And he just, he wants, in reality, a sex buddy. You know, all, his Facebook is nothing but, you know, I want to have sex with this girl, I want to do this, you know. It's, it's stupid, you know, just like not that long ago, he was talking about how he wants a blonde, and a blonde could ride dick better. That's not what I want in a guy. I don't want to, you know, have sex with a guy one, one, second and then like after I leave he's having sex with another girl that's not what I want in a relationship I don't want to think what can my boyfriend be doing at this moment who is he doing at this moment and um even though I feel as though I made a mistake I'm going to stick to my word and I'm going to you know wait patiently for what might happen you know if Dean isn't the one that I'm looking for, then, you know, his loss, I guess. 
but um, I definitely talked to Jason and he definitely helped me out a lot. Um, I just thought like him today and you know it did kind of mess up something that probably could have been good for me but maybe not. And that's okay because you know what? I found plenty of guys who were just like me and every guy just like me turned out to be a douchebag. So all I want in a guy is somebody who is funny who doesn't really care about sex as much as the last couple guys did and you know I want him to like piercings because my piercings are a huge part of me and I'm obviously not going to take out any piercings for a guy who really doesn't want to be with me he just wants sex I don't want to take out my piercings for anybody you know not just because you know I paid like 50 something dollars for these you know most of them was 55 and then this was 60 I didn't pay for my loaf but I paid for every one of my tapers the point is I overcame a huge fear with these so these piercings mean more to me than just decoration so a guy liking piercings is definitely important and um what else can I say? As for Jason, I still love him. I told him I still love him, you know. I I hate him sometimes, just how he acts, but deep down like I still love the guy and I told him, you know, maybe once I mature a lot <laughs> and then I grow up and if he's still single then maybe we can work something out. But until then we can't, you know, we just gotta let it be, let it be. Um, updates on everything else, um, look at my cat to be, yeah, isn't that cute? I got it in, um, it took me like two minutes to get it in, like three tries, which is like amazing, because it, the first time I put it in, it took me like, half hour actually the first time was really lucky so it took me like 10 minutes and then, like the next time it took me like a half an hour and like I got so frustrated but then I was just like duh, duh, and <laughs> and um for Friday, uh, Sunday, Friday I'm working, Sunday I'm um, going to the aquarium in Camden, Camden? I thought it was statement, Camden, I don't know, a couple, of, an hour maybe away, and I'm spending time with my nephew, that's about it. So I'm going to end this and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.